uh, swing outs. Uh, just doing some technique basically and then playing with different versions of them. Um, so the first thing that we were just talking about uh, was just looking at the three and four, making sure we have good momentum. We're leading with our um, upper torso, those legs are falling underneath us. So you're just concentrating on having a good driving triple step. Um, uh, enjoying our stretch, release right there. All right. We were also talking about the fact that, um, at least for my leading style, it is part visual. Um, I hope that we're also both paying attention to each other because I want to pay attention to my partner right here. Um, we're also talking about the fact um, that I do want to carve out space for my follow. If I'm doing a regular swing out, I'm carving out the right side of my body for her to occupy. Same thing when we're doing left side passes. I'd be carving away the left side of my space. And then I could be catching her and slinging her past me. All right. Also, um, telling the followers to dance with your left arm off the body. Some of you were not moving too well because you were aiming for your shoulder and stopping. For my leaders, she's moving with some good energy in a very unusual zone for you. So make sure that you have to have a little bit arm, more arm wrapped around her body right there. One, two, three, four. And you have to get your lats down, all right? Otherwise, you're gonna miss her, okay? The other version of this that we were doing is instead of letting go after five, we were keeping connection on the six and kind of staying away from each other like a mutual ballast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so you might even like over rotate that a little bit. Perfectly fine. Um, then the other thing that we did is we had a swing out into a right to left connection. All right? And this is where we really had to play with the idea of visually paying attention to each other. And so, um, the second thing that we did uh, is going to be more like a basket whip from this position, where I create stretch, but then I drop out the tone and give her linear momentum, catching on the side of her shoulder right there. And I tone that down so that she can drive. The second version of this is where I really had to create a very big visual line for her, and so hopefully she's willing to dance with me center to center, starting the sternum right there. So what we had in that case was a one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and And so I'm creating a drop, drop lat connection right there. It's optional for her to contact, uh, connect with me, but we can have contact or connection. And then I'm just swinging her out, providing good direction. And again, I can drop the tone um, for a basket whip, which I'll do on the next one. So a little basket. Yeah, and then very obvious visually. Boop. Um, and a big clue, a big little hint for the leaders. Again, you need to practice with the success rate on the social floor, but if you notice that she's a follow, only paying attention to her hand, you're going to have a very difficult time leading this. But if she is one that can uh, capture you visually with a little bit of her body right there, and she's, you notice that she's paying attention to this, you'll have a really good success rate. Right? So again, just pay attention to asking each other. That's it in that class.